everyone and welcome to the channel. We are in full festive mode here and I am very excited for the video that we're going to be doing today. If you don't know, I am an afternoon tea enthusiast and I've been to very many afternoon teas in my time and I love reviewing them for you. Because afternoon teas are a bit more expensive, I like to make sure that you're getting best bang for your buck. So I like to review them to know when you should not touch them with a barge pole. And there are so many afternoon tea places in London that it's quite overwhelming to know where to go. And I literally get asked all the time. And especially I've had lots of messages in recent weeks saying, can you go and test some afternoon teas? I'm coming at Christmas in London. Where should I go? Da, 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 da. Obviously, Christmas lover, afternoon tea lover, match made in heaven. So I've got my laptop here and we are going to check out some of the ones that are available. I want to go to ones that I've never been before and I want to make sure that we can just have a really, a really stonking good time. Okay, so let's get up festive afternoon tea. There's actually a whole document right here, 27 best afternoon teas, which I already had a little browse through. Now I have never been to the Shard and I feel like the Shard would be really interesting to go to because it is so bougie up there and I've had the breakfast buffet at the Ting and it was fantastic. I think that it's such good value for money because I think it was like, what, 45 pounds? But if you think about it, it's an unlimited breakfast buffet. The breakfast buffet was amazing. You get drinks included, but not only that, you get the view of London. And I think the tickets to go up the Shard anyway are like 25 pounds. So it's such good value for money. So I'd be intrigued to see what the afternoon tea was like as well. Now I did the Bee Bakery bus tour recently and I didn't love it. So I feel like, I don't know, we've got a lot here. We've got the Pan Pacific, that could be a good contender. It's, oh, it has steamed bow buns. Although I feel like that could be a whole trip in itself. Wow, stolen scones. Pecan pastries, Biscoff, that looks like it could be on the contender list. I feel like I wanna go for one really bougie one, one cheaper one, and one wild card. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, I have been browsing for a while, and actually the cheapest ones will seem to be booked up, unless their websites are just bugging out a little bit. So the cheapest one that I can find is 60 pounds because all the other ones are fully booked. The Royal Lancaster, which is the one I really wanted to go to, it's fully booked for the whole of December. So might be going there. I've got my other ones booked and I guess we'll be getting on over to the first afternoon tea. Let's go. It's in this building which overlooks Big Ben. Right there. It turns out that is not the entrance. So, I don't know. This is it. Right, it's the Marriott, let's go in. Lots of pigeons. Mm. Okay, we have located it. And in we go. Ever so grand. I hate those decorations, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> not great, are they? <laughs> so we've got lots of teas and we get oolong. to smell them. Oh, an oolong. and I want a, tra oh, a jasmine green. I won't lie, I do not love these Christmas decks. They seem a little bit cheap and tacky. But what I'm loving is this view. And look how cool this is. It's like in the books. I'm gonna go for the County Hall because it's their blend. So I feel like I should give that a whirl. And then we have the menu. I know it's, you guys always like seeing the menu. So this is the menu. Oops. The sandwiches have arrived. I don't know what ones to begin. It looks, they look quite, quite good, but not heavy on the filling, hey? I love the surroundings. I feel like 10 out of 10 for the surroundings mm. so far. Let's do a clean shot. Mm. Nice, I think it's been a little bit over brewed, but that's my bad. Mm. Mm. The lemon. Mm. The lemon is saying hello. Blue cheese. Ooh, no, like yeah, I'm not a blue cheese kind of gal. That is blue cheese. <laughs> Let's move on to the next. This kind of reminds me of what my mum would pay my pack lunch. <laughs> the flavours are nice. Mm. But the, you know when you go to like Tesco and get a meal deal? It tastes exactly the same. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with the Tesco meal deal sandwich. However, no, really. do I want it in my afternoon tea? Mm. I don't know. Mm. This must be, oh this is crayfish and spiced avocado. This bread feels better, softer. I don't like this 
sunblush tomato bread. So far, the sandwiches haven't bowled me over. No, not been great. But we'll see what is to come. This looks really sweet, and I like the fact. I'm sorry, little guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like the fact he's a bit different. That's really good. That's really good. The bun's really soft and brioche. -y. Right, let's have a little peek at our sleeping scones. Hello. Oh, that's the Christmas pudding one in there. Ooh. Wow. They look quite good, actually. And then there's brown oh, butter, homemade in-house plum jam, and clotted cream. Straight this guy's going back into bed. Tuck you in, guys. Have a good sleep. So this is the cranberry and cinnamon. And much to everyone's dismay, I'll put the clotted cream on first. Sorry. Mmm. Yes, it's a really, they've delivered on the flavour and I like the crunch on top. Mm. Brandy butter, must try. No? <laughs> we just got another tea top up. We're going for a jasmine, oh, <laughs> jasmine green. I should not be allowed in places like this. <laughs> Jasmine-y. <laughs> quite green. Can you see that shine on it? Mm. Oh, oh. <laughs> That satsuma does not work with that. Mm. But like the pastry is okay and yeah. the custody bit. But the satsuma. <laughs> Up next. The pastry could be a bit more crisp and flaky. But not bad. It's the daddy it, and it. the mummy. Oh gosh. Mm. It's got juice in it. <laughs> oh. Oh, I see. Look at the seepage. Seepage is not a word you want when you're eating a sweet tree, is it? And there we go, the end of afternoon tea one. Whoa! Sorry, doesn't that look so realistic? drawing room whilst we wait. We've been offered some drink over tap water, of course. Um, but it is stunning. Best Christmas decorations. Traditional, lovely, opulent, yeah. Everything I want, yeah. Yeah. We love it. We've got tap water. And she's bought us truffle nuts and some corn nuts. It's a bit fun, isn't it? Feels right me having this back there. <laughs> so that's so good. I've never had a truffle nut. <laughs> I literally love this menu. Cheers. Mm. It's fizzy. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, like, it is fizzy. Look at this. Little finger protector. Essential. What have you got there, Ron? Um, I've got chocolate brownie tea. I'm so brownie intrigued. Tea. It smells like chocolate brownie. Really? Yeah. No way. Yeah. <laughs> Look how perfect that clotted cream is. Are you joking me? Nice. It is quite hot. Yeah. Asbestos yeah. tongue though, isn't it? <laughs> this is actually stunning. Stunning. We've got Queen Charlotte on the top, represent. Sharing cake. And then we've got some pastries, which we're obviously tucking into. Sandwiches and the little pies and then the scones. Oh, yeah, wow. Oh, they look good, don't they? <gasps> these all look good. And the bread looks so soft. And these little pie, I love when they give you a bonus. Yeah. Right. It's got some flavour happening in that cream cheese. Wow, okay. What's this then? Cranberry. I never had the black cranberry. Mmm. Hot emotion. Ever so dry, just a touch, but the flavours of the stuffing. You won't like this. It honestly doesn't like egg. Although I do like the it's truffle. oriental one. Yeah, I probably like it. It's soft, it. it's truffle. I think anyone's ever eaten a sandwich just so quickly. Wash it down with a little cup of tea. <laughs> with this classical music. Can you drink with a tea cup? <laughs> Up first on our pastry platter. I really like the aesthetic of this. Oh, what did you think it was? A I pastry? thought it was gonna be no. I thought it was gonna be a hard sugar shell. See, I did think it's a more of a mousse. Mmm, that is great. Oh my gosh, that's a, out of ten. Nine and a half. Mm. I could Actually, do with a caramelised nut in the middle. That no, would take it to a ten. see, that would take it down for me. 
How awkward. I have to say, design-wise, they have absolutely excelled. Like, these are the best aesthetics. They're tasteful. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, what's in the middle? These are Ooh. like so my type of dessert. Yeah. No, that's stewed fruit nonsense. Mm. I was apprehensive that it was going to be mince meat. <laughs> that would have sucked. That was sublime. Out of 10? Stop. 20? 10 out of 10. Oh. I would say 8. So I'm a lot of pessimism about that. <laughs> oh, it's a little Christmas tree. Yeah, with the holly. I love the designs. You go, guys. Oh, look at that snap. What a great sable. Wow. Here we go. What does it taste like? Oh. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. I'm going to assume. What's that? A pitch. <gasps> of what? That one was not my type of flavour. I don't like the flavour. We've gone for an English breakfast, the Lanesboro special. Please, can I have the milk? Okay, here is the finale. Oh, oh dear. I did not do that well. Oh, bother. It's like a hot dog on the bottom. On the bottom. <laughs> oh, that is not my cup of tea. But this is Lanesboro. That tea is good. That cake is not. Okay, scone. Oh, we've got something green in it. I know this upsets everyone every time. Are you ready? What, that you do that first? Yeah, but I think it should be like a butter. And then you also will turn. Why is one of you really thin? Grace, that looks like a jammy dodger. I've not finished. Because <laughs> okay. there's also lemon curd. Oh, you're not putting that on it. No, I'm not. Yeah. Oh! Looks awful. Thank Wait, you. should we do mine and compare? Yes, yes it does look more aesthetically pleasing when you have a big dog of cream. I don't like the taste. Now the thing is, why are you bringing both to the table? <laughs> because there's two. I feel like yeah, obviously yours does look better for people who like cream. Oh, it tastes like a Harry Potter and plastic. I'm clicking back in neutral because I don't put too much on. <laughs> right, we've finished all our bits and bobs. School was okay. Nothing to be shouted about. And you get refills of whatever you want. So we've gone for a little refill of some sandwiches. Hello. But look how thick the butter is. Yeah, Do you see you that? Can see it from my mind. Look at the chunk that's settled in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you checked in till Christmas. Gosh. Right, we are going up to the 35th floor. 35th floor! <laughs> I have to say, I do not like the decorations here as much as the other decorations. Speeding up to the top. Okay, this is a bit better up here. I like the reef, I'm into it. I mean, it's not the best day for it, but you can still see the bridge right there. We've got a really nice little nook That's right here. <laughs> yeah. She said, I think you like that table, and I said, you're right. <laughs> so we actually have an online menu. Interesting approach. There are loads and loads of teas. And then also you go back and then you have different packages. So this is what we're getting. I'm excited for this, a little bonus, a burger. Hello. We have been started with a little welcome tea overlooking London. Got my tea. And I got her tea. And let's do a tea taste test and our welcome tea. Gosh, there's so much to do. Incredible. I love the welcome tea. Oh, that's lovely. Refreshing, light, airy. Kind of brightens up the mood on this rainy day. Three, two, one. Oh. Wow. Festival. That's amazing. <laughs> It's so soft. Alright, yeah, it's not dry. Smoked salmon. They're very. This one's kind of got some fingerprints. It looks like it's been squished. Do you know what? The bread is really soft, but it kind of reminds me of bread that I'd have at home. They're not fussy, they're just like good. Yeah. I love it. So we've got Reuben in here. It's, it's a dry bread. So it's normally a bit denser. See oh. that bit firm? Different bread. Delicious. 
Mm. I'm loving it. It's so far. Egg and truffle. Truffle just knocks right in the back of his throat. Right, let's move on up to the next plate. I've never had pate. Oh, it's like toast. Yeah. Liver. That's not something you want to eat. It doesn't. It's like I'm doing a, a celeb challenge. Really? Shame. I think it's the word liver. That was not right. Oh, they look dry, but they're light. Oh, wow, they are. Ooh. I feel like that speaks. I don't even need to say anything. Although I feel like you can't really see the colours. I haven't. That looks interesting, right? Slow. Oh. oh. It's just like passing upon bread. Ooh. A bit like that. Oh, really. Yeah, it's a bit bland. I also went for a tea top up. This is milky oolong. Milky. It's not got milk in it. Crazy. Kind of tastes like tea. Yeah. It does taste like tea. Yeah. Nice. Mm. Can you see that glitter? Gorgeous girl. Oh. <laughs> okay. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> It really finishes on a lovely, zesty, end of the note, lime. Limely. <laughs> I'm going to go this way. Oh. Because then we both get a bit of the tree. That's nice. Look at the layers on that, would you? That was a big extra bit. Oh, wow. He's so loud and in charge. So, it's so nutty. Quite a nice. And we got these as well, as if there's not enough cake. These came with the scones, don't worry, they're all scones. Oh yeah, it's chocolate orange. Oh. Oh. Goodness. Oh. oh. We got sponge, like some sort of puree, and a white chocolate mousse. Oh. Oh, she loves it. Treat yourself. No, she hates it. I like it. I like it. It's nice that they've made it their own because I know I'm having afternoon tea at the shop. for that. <laughs> Otherwise. We've come to the toilet, the nicest toilets in London. There is no denying it. This is the really good one that Honor went in. Look at that. Peeing with a view. Sorry. What the heck? And that was the end of toilet reviews with Grace. We're back, replenished, and ready for round two scones, baby. There's a cranberry one and a plain one. Right, I've got a cranberry one. They're quite small. It's a very firm jam, much more jam. <laughs> It's much better than yesterday. Is it though? It feels so dry. Not too bad. No, oh, that jam really not good at all. We've got our next layer of sandwiches. Are they as good as first, first time? Me. Okay, it is debrief afternoon tea time. I am going to give you a pro and a con for each of the afternoon teas that we have tried. I have to say, I had a good time. I just flipping love afternoon tea. And when it's festive afternoon tea, what not to love? Okay, starting off with the library. Obviously, a massive pro would be the view. That would be the natural one. And I just love the surrounding of the library. But my actual pro would probably be the service. It literally felt like they couldn't do enough for you. They were just so good. Kept us topped up on that tea, on that tea and actually the tap water, which I feel like lots of people sometimes neglect that. And the biggest con, which is very unfortunate and something you don't want in an afternoon tea, was the food. It was not good. It was not good, those sandwiches. To be honest, even my my mum's ones that she make in our packed lunches were better than that. Just being honest, just given the honest truth. I will say the scones were really good. The cinnamon scone in particular was, and the like plum jam that came with it and stuff, that was really good. But overall i wouldn't go back to that afternoon tea place i think it is really overpriced up next we are going to the shard and overall i had a really good experience at the shard and i would go again i think the fact that you're getting the the view which is obviously the biggest pro of all is that beautiful view that you get it feels like you're just in another world just looking out over everything but the con would probably be some of the food. Some of the food was so good. Like some of those sweet treats, some of the sandwiches. I didn't like that weird little brioche bun thing. That was weird with like the celeriac or whatever it was in the middle of it. Didn't rate that. 
and do not get me started on those scones they're a bit of a letdown however again service incredible and it, it is a really lovely atmosphere there and you are getting a good bang for your buck because you could go up with shard for 25 pounds you might as well do it with afternoon tea for a little bit more do you know what i mean now the last one which i will say was my favorite of them all which is interesting because i actually tried their most expensive roast dinner and i did not like it i thought it was really overpriced i thought it was stuffy but when i went this time there was just a really nice warm atmosphere maybe it was different stuff. I don't know what it was. It just felt really inviting. The biggest pro would probably be the sarnies. The sandwiches were really good. Soft bread, flavoursome, quite like good classic flavours and the sweet treats because a lot of them were chocolatey. And that's what I want. I want chocolate. Other than the cherry that nearly, the cherry pip that nearly made me die, which, which is not good. Um, and the live music. That was the only one that had live music, which is obviously a big, massive winner. Humdinger, we got a winner, Lanesborough. I will say, still to this day, my favorite afternoon tea is the Mandarin Oriental. Maybe as a vlogmas tree, I should go and test the festive menu out. If you didn't know, I am posting a vlog every other day on my vlog channel, Extra Crack. Go and check that out if you want, it's in the description below. But it's just unmatched. The sandwiches are so good. Anyway, we're not talking about the Mandarin Oriental. I have had an amazing, amazing time filming this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know any other videos you want to see over the festive period. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Love you all loads. Peace out, punks. Have a cracking one. Bye.